So if you want to make a slideshow using photos, the first thing you're going to do is open up the photo roll and then you're going to want to select slideshow. Right up here you're going to want to just keep slideshow the way it is, but here's where you can actually name your slideshow. And then you'll click OK. So now it's going to allow you to select the pictures that you want to put in your slideshow. So notice we're just selecting all the pictures within photos that you want to include. Once you do that, then you can click on the Add button. And that is going to make your slideshow. So right here where you see the text, you can edit that text so that it says something that you want to say, or you can even just delete it. Now notice that all the pictures that you've selected are down in the timeline. You can pick them up and move them and rearrange them where you want to put them. It's just a matter of dragging and dropping. This has some cool features right here. For example, if you want to do, to use one of the themes, you've got, you know, and it'll give you a little preview on what those themes do. Classic is just gonna give you your standard one. The music icon lets you pick background music and um, if you have music already loaded in your iTunes, you can certainly use that by clicking on the music library and selecting iTunes, or you can just use the standard theme songs and pick, uh, pick one that you like. And it lets you preview it first. Now notice if two things are checked, then they'll have both of those songs play evenly throughout. If you just want the same song, you just select that. This last icon here lets you do some other stuff. It lets you pick different transitions it lets you decide if you want the speed of the pictures to go fast or slow. I would err more on the fast side on that. Um, and you have some other stuff too. This lets you fit the slideshow to the song so that it's, I guess you could say it splits the song evenly. Scaling photos to fit the screen. If you have a lot that are in portrait mode, it'll try to do its best job to kind of bring them in. And of course you can add text, you can delete text. And then when you're ready to export it, just click on the export button. It does let you preview it. You will need to press the little play button. And it'll give you the chance to do that. Once you're happy with what your video looks like, click the export button and it will let you choose the destination. I usually select standard definition, especially if this is gonna be something people view on a phone and that'll save you some space. So now it's gonna start exporting and this usually takes anywhere from five to 10 minutes. When it's finished, you'll see your video located right there on the place you saved it. And in this case, it is right here. Of course, I'm struggling to find it through the video. And that is what you can upload to Google Drive and you can share that link with parents. Just make sure to make your uh, setting parameters be a link that's viewable by all. Hope that helps.